this tutorial I want to look at how we can copy faces from one part to another so I want to create a plate that sits on front of this and I'm going to go create in place um, I'm going to keep it coincident with the assembly plane and I want to go into that part when I've finished and right mouse click to accept it um, so this is going to be a part file and I'll give it a name and that takes me into that part file ready for creation. So the first one I'll do will be a um, synchronous part. So from here we go into extrude. Um, actually you just need to make sure that under the tools you turn on your peers so it recognizes the other geometry. So under extrude, we can pick the face that we're interested in. If you haven't got that option, you just change it here. So I click face, right mouse click to accept it and give a distance. Um, likewise, if I wanted to do the thing part on the inside, um, I can pick that face there and extrude it out and then move to that edge there and bring it forward to create the part that we're interested in. So um, let's take that one and drop out. So turn that off and do the same thing in ordered. So we go create in place. My symmetric parts, my template. Call this one ordered. And there's a couple of ways we can do it here. Um, depends on whether you want to keep the two linked together or not. So um, I'm just going to transition to ordered on here. And the first option, I'm going to just do an extrude and choose my reference plane. And then I do a project to sketch command. And I um, don't want the offset. Keep the internal face loops selected and I've turned off the maintain associativity. If you leave that on, it will create links to the original part. So if you want it maintained, then turn that on. So I can um, again change my option here to um, single face. Picks up on those faces, right mouse click to accept it. It copies the um, profiles through. Um, with geometric constraints and I can then come out of here and like I did before give it a depth so we'll say this one's 10 mil and right mouse click to accept it and like we did just now um, I can go back in and if I then change my option here to parallel plane from here, I can pick up off that face there. Again, use the projector sketch. And leave the options the same. Pick up on those two edges there. Close the sketch. And then again, I can click on the edge of that to give me my depth. So that gives me um, two options. You also notice, though, that um, by clicking on the edge of that, it's created a link to it. So if you don't want the links, then you can just right mouse click on there and go break link. And that removes all associativity to the other part. So um, the third option available is to use an interpart copy so we select that from up here the part that you want to copy from the face that we want to copy and right mouse click to accept it that creates a surface so if i hide the assembly you can see that we've just got that individual surface and from there i can go extrude um, sorry i can do that or i can go um, in here and select thicken 
select that, uh, click to accept the direction, and then finish with the right mouse click. So um, three different methods on producing the same sort of thing. Here is an option to copy faces from another part when you're not working in the context of an assembly. So um, we'll start by switching to ordered. This means that it's going to stay connected. And then we go to part copy. And in here we can find the part that we are looking for. Say open. So I'm going to copy as construction only. Um, if you want to sort of boolean it into another part, then you can use the copy as design body. Um, you also have the option in here to mirror as well. I'm just going to copy as construction. And then we have this item in here. So then I can go extrude, pick on the face. Use my projector sketch, leaving that on um, single face. I can pick on that. Um, I've got it set to internal face regions as well. So I'll accept that, close the sketch. And give a distance and click for the side. And then I can do a, another one working off this face here. Then using the same projector sketch command. So project um, internal face loops. So I can pick on that one, accept it, close the sketch. Place it to there and finish and then I can hide that part copy so that we have our completed part and then um, being that it's linked um, any changes to that um, part that we've copied it will update the um, geometry in here as well.